we are going to install this incredible CR Touch auto bed leveling sensor. Let's dive right in. Before we get started, let's unbox this fantastic upgrade and see what we have got. Inside the box, we have Creality card, a handy manual, and the star of the show, the Creality CR Touch sensor. A selection of brackets for a different printers. Some trusty zip ties, a main cable, and a Ford M3 screws. Grab that CR Touch sensor and connect the cable to it. Then choose the perfect bracket for the Ender 3 V2 and secure them together using two screws. Let's attach the sensor to our Ender 3 V2. Insert the remaining two screws and tighten them up. It's like giving your printer superpowers. But hold on, we are just getting started. To access the motherboard, open these two screws, one from the front and one from the back. Also remove these front screws. Then remove the screen and turn the printer. And remove these three screws to access the motherboard. Safety first, remember to remove the fan wire. Next, it's time to connect our sensor cable. You can choose to insert it from front or back side. Locate the 5 pin port on the motherboard and securely connect our cable to it. We are making progress. After that, remove this Z-axis end switch cable from the motherboard. They have served their purpose. But it's time for an upgrade. Also remove the wire from the end stop switch. Connect our fan cable and put everything back into a place. Use three screws to secure the cover. Attach upper panels two screws and front panel screws. Put it back our screen. Now we don't need this end stop, so remove it. Neatly arrange the cable with zip ties. Now let's work on firmware, the brains behind the operation. Remove the memory card from your printer and pop it into your trusty computer. I have chosen to use the amazing Mexico firmware and luckily I have created a full installation guide for you to check out. When you are ready to download the firmware, choose your motherboard name. In my case, it's the 4.2.2 version. So make sure you select the BL Touch option and then click the download button. If you want Creality's firmware, then go to their official website. Find your motherboard name with the BL Touch option and download it. Once you have downloaded the firmware, it's time to format your SD card. Then copy paste the file onto it. Remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into your printer. Now we wait as the firmware installation take place. Exciting times. Once the firmware installation is completed, it's time to dive into the printer settings. Find the auto bed leveling option and give it a satisfying click. Now printer automatically calculates the figures. So wait for it to finish the process. And then save the mesh. Now we need to fine tune the Zprop settings. Grab an A4 size paper and adjust the Z-axis height until you feel just little bit of friction. It's all about finding that sweet spot. Once you have nailed it, save the offset. With this sensor, you can also adjust the bait trimming for all corners. Now that we have leveled our bait to perfection, it's time to put it to the test. 
let's grab our SD card, insert it into a computer and choose a bed leveling test file. Personally, I love using the CHEP bed leveling test. Slice the file, transfer it to the SD card and insert it back into our printer and start printing. As you can see, it has aligned properly. Make sure the print has not lifted from any side of the bed. If needed, then adjust the settings. If you want to install this Merisco professional firmware, then I have created a video on it. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down your queries. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button for exciting content. Happy printing.